Greetings, people. This is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Dire Wolf 20 Mod Pack. Okay, when we left off the last episode, I had finished making this construct, which is, um, I guess, what is it called? An infusion altar? The whole thing? Uh, anyway, so now, now there's all kinds of cool, nifty things we can uh, make with this infusion altar uh, get up but um, in order for it to work this thing has to be fueled by essentia fueled by essentia of different types for different things you're making and uh, that essentia needs to come from uh, warded jars and we got to get essentia into those warded jars and that is done with where did I put my book that is done with this. This is an entry in the, th in the th uh, Thalmanomicon about Essentia Distillation. And so we need to make um, an alchemical furnace and at least two, maybe three Arcane Olympics. Okay, so to get started with this, we got to make, we need some more Arcane Stone Blocks. We need seven. I might have seven already. I have some. I do not have seven, so let's get that. Um, let's see, C C C stone. And two of these. That should give us more than enough. Okay, and then we need a furnace. Okay, so you can use the um, the arcane workbench is a regular crafting uh, table, by the way. Uh, okay, and then we need a cauldron, a crucible, uh, a crucible, which, yeah, a crucible? A crucible, not a cauldron. Oh, and I was looking at the applied energistics mod. Uh, we need to put up, put up uh, at least to begin with a simple applied energistics network for storing things, but anyway, not this episode. Um, Okay, so that's just that. Okay. So I have brought some iron with me. So, is it like this? Mm, furnace? No. Do I have to turn that into a crucible? Ah, oh, no, no, no. I guess I didn't. I didn't do that. Oh, that's interesting. What happened? Oh. I don't know, I had some wrong keys. Okay, um, crucible. And that's a cauldron, I have to make this into a cauldron. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we'll use this wand. There, and hopefully if I use a pickaxe to break it, it will, there we go. Remember, I, I just punched it once and it actually destroyed it. Okay, so insufficient V, what do we need? We need 50, oh, we need a lot of that. I might not have enough. Oh, I do have enough. What? Why was that? Oh, 5.5. .5. But when I put this one in, so this is just really low in, of aqua. Well, I, anyway, I, I guess I won't worry about it because it's working. Okay, so we got that part. And now we need, I guess we can put this down and see how it works. Let's see. And I was thinking about, I was thinking of putting it to here. But maybe if I put it here, then we could have, we could have um, warded jars going off in both directions. If I put it like basically in the middle, in the back. Of course, that would mean walking around here to put in items. So maybe that's not a good idea. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where I want to put it. I think we'll put it here because that's closer. We'll put it right here. I'm gonna put it one out so I have room to do stuff in the back. Okay. So the way this works is you put uh, something to fuel it with, like charcoal or coal or um, or alimentum, and then you put the item to break down in here, and it breaks down. 
whatever you're doing to give you the aspects in it. Like if I put cobblestone in there, it would break it down into Saxum and Perdito. If I placed apples in there, have I never scanned apples? Hmm. Whoops. There's something weird going off my keyboard. I never scanned apples. Huh. Okay. So and if I so if I placed in apples in here, I would get uh, the, what is it? That's the hunger. I forget what that is. And the wheat one. I don't. I don't know what those are called. Anyway, so there you go. Um, and then, uh, but to get the uh, to, so that would break down those things and break um, break break the it would cook them down into their essentia, the different aspects. But to actually get the essentia out, we need something else, which is the arcane limbic. Is that what it's called? Oh yeah, Arcane Olympic. So I want to make at least two of these. So let's make two. Uh, we need two of these V built filters. Excuse me, this filters. So it's like this, and uh, oh, I don't I put them in here. Two uh, silverwood logs in the middle. Okay, and I got to put my wand in here. And something went. Oh, was it gold, not glass? I bet it was gold, not glass. Yeah, okay. Now can I use this one? Yeah, okay, so now I now I don't have enough E in there. Get in there. Okay, so we got two of those. Now let's make the two arcane Olympics. And I have to check what do we need. We need Oh I need two buckets. So let's go ahead and make two buckets. I wonder if I can right click to put, can I go like this? If I go like that, I guess not. It doesn't even show the recipe in any eye. Oh well, it is so primitive. Okay, um, okay, so Olympic, uh, Olympic on the left, gold on the right, and the rest is gold, and uh, I mean a lead, and then the bucket, okay. So the bucket was in the middle. V filter on the top, gold on the right, and then lead, like this. Yes. And I guess we have enough. So let's put the, the other stuff in so we can make two at once. V filter, gold, lead. I mean iron. Why oh, keep that saying lead? There we go. So these go on the top. I guess I have to right click. And let's get up here. Right click there. Voila. So we got two. Cool. Okay, so let's try this out. I need to put put some charcoal on the bottom. And what do we want to get? Hmm. Something. Well, we could always use Perdito. So let's try this. We're just going to put in. Eight. You see the progress bar showing it being cooked, and it's this um, little gauge here is showing that it's actually holding aspects. But we can't get the aspects out. Oh, actually, I guess they're being are they being drawn up here? You know, what? I should. I had made that. I just made that right. So, gotta scan these things. Have I scanned all these other things? I think yeah, I scanned that. I scanned that. Of course, I've scanned that. That's you can't scan that. It doesn't scan. I've scanned that. I bet I haven't scanned these. Cool. Yes. Can I can? Can I? I guess you can't do that. And do I have one of these still? Probably haven't scanned this. No. Cool. Okay. Now, I don't know how I can see. I think you should be able to see, but I don't know how. I, maybe I should make some of those goggles. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I can make that real quick. Goggle, 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 goggle. Goggles. That would be artifice. Oh, I need leather. I need two of these. I'll do that later. 
But first, let's. I have some vials in here. I can get. You can get the. Um, you can. There are different. There's uh, like three ways I know of to get the essential out. One is to click on these with on vials. I think yes. So I got Saxum. Is that all I got? Just the sax? Oh, that's right. The other one, Perdito. There we go. So I got eight Perdito and eight Saxum from eight pieces of cobblestone. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, now they're in the files, but I can't really do anything with them in the files. I need to put them into water jars. And water jars are right here. Okay, so that is just glass panes and a slab of wood in the arcane workbench fueled with a wand of a little bit of aqua, not too much. Okay, so first we got to make ourselves some. I don't know why that happens. Um, first we got to make sure ourselves some glass plate, some glass panes. Okay, that's enough of that. Now and some oak slabs. Okay, let me remind myself what this looks like. Like that. Okay, so. How many? I have 12. Let's make 12 of them if we can. If I have enough. Probably don't have enough glass for that many. No. Okay, so we'll make that much. If we, I don't know. I have enough aqua for that. Yes. Okay, so let's see how this works. We'll put. A jar here, and a jar here, and a jar here, and a jar here. And I'm gonna move this torch out of the way. Okay, so I take my glass file. I'll probably will lose it, but I go like that, and it puts it into. I think did I? I had how many did I have before? Six. Let me see if I get seven when I do this. Oh, cool! You get them back. I think you used to lose them, but now you get them back. That's nice. Okay, so I have. Oh, and it doesn't tell me what's in there. I like the sound they make. Um, okay, I th guess we should go ahead and make, try to make, if I have enough time here before the alarm goes off, I should try to make some of those goggles. So I need to make another thermometer. Let's see if I have everything I need. I think I should have everything I need for that. Gold, can I remember? Glass, was glass, glass on the side, up top, and this in the middle. No, I'm missing something. That should work. Oh, it's a, just a workbench? Really? Oh, I don't need... Well, that should be working. Glass, gold, water... Oh, 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 wait. Glass is there. There, okay. So, And I need two of these. Okay, they don't stack. And now, to make the goggles, I need four pieces of leather. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay. Let's look up at the recipe. Let's look at that recipe again. Um, gold, top and bottom. Okay. Gold, leather, and then the two thermometers. Yes. Okay, so what I do is I take this helmet off, and I actually can also combine, I can actually install the goggles into my power armor helmet, but I'll do that some other time. Okay, so now, with this thing on, what, how do I look? Whoops, I hit the wrong button. I hate that. This button. There you go. Stylish. Okay, so, I can see now, now it says that it's Saxum in there. I didn't say that before, right? I'll take them off again. So, it just says water jar. That's the Wayla. Uh, but if, when I have the helmet on, it tells me that it's got Saxum in it, and that's pretty good. It also has a little symbol. Oh, and I can see, it allows you to see um, nose more clearly, I believe, right? 
Now I can see, whoops, I can just see the node without having to look through the thermometer. That's the other thing it does. Okay, now, so let's try melting out some, melting down something else like, uh, not stone, that's a bit boring. Um, a little gold? How about the apple? The apple has two things on it, yes. So let's do, let's do some apples. Let's do, uh, eight. 16, we'll do 16. And let's see if we can see, yeah, now, now because I have the goggles on, it, it's showing me what's inside the Alembic. Cool, four, five, four still, five. Let me look at what those things are. I don't remember what those things are. <laughs> Nessus. Nessus. Hmm. Okay. And probably already passed it, didn't I? There we go. Fa famous. Famous. I guess that's like the root of famine. I'm not trying to say that. This is kind of like I think these are Latin. Famous. Uh, okay. Oh, and there's something else I wanted to show. What was it? What was it? There was something I was looking at that was interesting. Was it? Oh, it wasn't here. Um, alchemy. Oh yeah, here under warded jars. If you go to labels, there's these labels you can attach to warded jars. Um, I'll probably do that eventually. And um, it shows here when, when you uh, you can actually set a, the you can set what a label. Um, the, what the labels do is it makes a jar restricted to just one essentia. I could put a label on here and then it would be like locked onto Saxum. It, also, it would also show the symbol right on the jar to make it easier to know what's in there. Um, so um, this is showing that if you have a file full of Essentia and a label in a, in a workbench, that it'll set the, the label um, to that Essentia so you could put it on a, an empty jar. Um, anyway, so but see how it's cycling? It's cycling through the, um, through the aspects, the different types of Essentia. Just, just to show that you can make a label for every one of them. And eventually, this is going to show, there we go, and I, did you see that? It said unknown aspect. That means there's at least one aspect I haven't scanned yet. I don't know what it is. I suppose I could go online and do a search, a Google search on all the aspects and find out what it is I haven't learned. If Well, there's at least one, there might be more. It's going through these randomly. Anyway, that was interesting, I thought. Uh, okay, so we got 32 and 16. Is that right? Yep, there's two of Famous and, I mean, there's two of Messus, I guess it was, and one of Famous on each apple. So we get these out, and it's showing me, showing me going down, and then I click on this. There we go, and now I can put them in here. I have to get the vials in the right spots. So here's the um, Messus. Okay, and there's the other one. Why am I not seeing? Oh, I dropped them. How did I do that? Oh, how amusing. Okay, there we go. So we got 16 of those and 32 of those, and that looks about halfway full. So I guess these hold about 64. Let me see how, if I have enough time to go make some labels. Yes, barely. Okay, let me try this. I set up some keyboard. So if I hit J, it'll turn my jetpack off. See that? Now when I do shift and space bar, it'll, it'll enable the wings. I installed glider wings so I can glide down, whoosh, which saves power. Ha ha, now I'll put the jetpack back on because I'm gonna need it in a moment. Okay, so I need some, um, I need some of these slime balls and paper. Probably all my papers probably in the Ars Magica. No, actually it's over in the um I don't have any room. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, I still need to get rid of something. Um, 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 what can I combine? Can I combine anything? I need to get rid of stuff. I know, I will open up my, I'll open up this. 
and we will just dump the stuff in there like this and this like this and this and this okay um okay i have to oh so i was going to make paper yes paper i know we need paper i think we need ink, ink sacks also so it's a bunch of paper See what else I need. Oh, passed it. Okay. Okay, just ink sacks. Let's see. I don't know how many ink sacks I have. Seven. Uh, okay, I guess I'll make seven labels. I'll have to go hunting for squid and get more ink sacks. Oops. I messed something up there. Okay. There's my timer. Was it three pieces of paper? I guess I'm gonna find out in a moment. No, it must have been more. Shoot. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna be using that much anyway, because I don't have enough. Whoops, I don't have enough um, ink. There we go, four. Did I use that? Oh, I guess that doesn't use up any of the. Cool. Take this back. Now let's apply these labels. I got, actually I got quite a few. So, there you go. Isn't that cool? So that shows the symbols for the aspects. Yay. All right. So, I guess what I should, I guess the next episode we will pick, let's pick out something to make. Something that would be cool to make I haven't I made the goggles. Oh, you know what? I already have a, I have a wand. One of these foci, like, ah, portable hole. That would be useful. Okay, so a portable hole uh, has to be made on the infusion. Oh, what, actually, it shows, it shows, it kind of shows in here, doesn't it? Arcane infusion. The uh, mechanic is called arcane infusion. I, I guess you can call. It, I guess this setup here is called an infusion altar, maybe. Anyway, so I take you put these items on the on the pedestals plus an interper in the middle, and he uses all of these. So these these are the aspects that I need to make sure I have in jars, and I have to have this much. I have to have 25 perdido, 25 eider, 10 alienus, and 10 permatasio in in four warded jars lined up right here, um, and I will get those by melting down items in this alchemical furnace. So in the next episode, I will gather everything we need. I will, um, in between episodes, I'll gather all the items I need that we need to do this. And then in the episode, I will, will I'll melt down the stuff. I guess I'll have to make some more boarded jars and stuff. Um, and place the aspects in the jars. I'll just do it using files like I, like I just did to do this. It's a manual, you know, it's the manual way of doing it, but it's really simple. So that's what we'll do for now. And, and then we'll make this portable hole and then put it on our wand and try it out. Okay? So that'll be the next episode. This has been Keith and Modesto playing Modded Minecraft, the Direwolf 20 mod pack. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.